Hey guys, Game News here, and welcome to my Total Wars. How I got Zhuge Liang in Three Kingdoms, right? So this is a legendary character, um, one of the top two guys, the smartest guys in the whole of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. And if you get either him or Sima Yi, you will be like probably strong, right? Because they actually give you a lot of boosts, a lot of stats when you recruit any of them. Be, be it Zhu Ge Liang or Sima Yi, they start off at level 7, which is crazy because most characters start from level 1 or you, you start from level 4, but never level 7 because you are close to the cap at level 10. And how I got Zhu Ge Liang was an enigma. During my first playthrough, I went through the whole game and I didn't even get close to him. So what happened was, um, in the midst of your game, you will have this trigger where uh, Shisu will join you, right? So um, what happened was Shisu. Let me get Shisu out of the door. Ooh, somebody uh, ping me. Um, so let me get Shisu out of the door. Now under my relations here, there is this guy called Shisu. Now Shisu will join you out of the blue, and by the next turn he will be asking you that if you if you are playing Liu Liu Pei, right? He will be asking you that he wants to leave your faction because he wants to go visit his mother. Now, um, if you follow the romance of the Three Kingdoms novel, what happened is um, he got tricked, he got duped, and he went into Chao Chao uh, and he never got back. But he was so guilty about it, uh, he went back to Liu Pei once just to tell him that there is a sleeping dragon. And this sleeping dragon happens to be Zhu Ge Liang, which is the one of the top two strategists in the whole Romance of the Three Kingdoms and I believe just like the whole game as well, right? And so, when you get Shisu, if you don't allow him to leave, you'll never trigger Zhu Ge Liang. But if you allow him to leave, and it will be just a short while, then uh, he will actually trigger like, uh, uh, like, hey, you should go look for Sleeping Dragon and you say yes, um, you will trigger the first visit. Now, when I did my first playthrough, I was already a duchy, meaning I was a duke. So I got the first trigger where, hey, I should go look for Zhu Ge Liang. And then the rest of the game, I have no clue. I played over 200 turns and I never got a clue. Now this is only the 89th or 87th turn. You can see that uh, on my top left hand corner, which is Harvest 207, it's pretty early in the game. And I'm not the first duke because in this playthrough, I play it slow. I wanted to get like relationships. I'm trying to breed Liu Pei. And for crying out loud, he's not getting any sons. I do not know why. I tried to get him married. He just doesn't want to have any sons. But no matter, I play it slow. And I'm still at Marquis. While the rest um, of them has already, like the other factions have, have already progressed. Uh, and so I was so slow that I think Shisu was saying, you better get Zhuge Liang and Zhuge Liang triggered. And so that's what I believe. Now, if it happens to be different from you, then uh, by all means, let me know in the comments section. But I believe that you should not be too strong or too aggressive and become a duke before all these events trigger. Because if you don't get that triggered, like here, right? If you don't get this trigger at the third visit, uh, then you'll miss out on Zhuge Liang and I played 200 over turns I missed him out totally in my other playthrough I got Sima Yi instead which is another story altogether which I'm gonna share how I got Sima Yi but in any case I got my Zhuge Liang and he starts off pretty pretty strong this is just the first time I got hit, got to him right um, he has 7 points um, he has this side of the dragon uh, 5000 visibility range 5000 forest spotting you gotta get there, right? Uh, so you can just play around because you have six extra points, you will get him. He starts with brilliant, he starts with cunning, and he starts with humble. So he doesn't even have an, a desire for higher offices, which is amazing. Like, wow. Because if you get Sima Yi, Sima Yi wants to be like a prime minister, he wants to be this, he wants to be that. But this guy here, uh, he's humble, he doesn't really want it, he just wants to be himself. And so I, I think if you really want to get him, you should start slow. Try not to go over Duke uh, in your faction, right? Don't try to get Duke so early. Let the game 
progress and all these events the third visit will trigger and you should get your Zuka Liang now that's a caveat right here I don't know if you need Zhao Yun to be in your team or not now I got Zhao Yun by chance I didn't get him by a trigger point so Zhao Yun is important because when Zhuge Liang joined Liu Bei, Zhao Yun was there. So I had no clue whether Zhao Yun was a prerequisite to trigger uh, Zhuge Liang. And Zhao Yun has a trigger event as well. Um, I saw in another playthrough, some guy defeated Yuan Shao. And then what happened was uh, Zhao Yun came to him, came to Liu Bei uh, with a white horse and he eventually joined Liu Bei. And so that's how he got uh, Zhao Yun but for my case I didn't get Zhao Yun like that Zhao Yun didn't want to become my friend and I'm like dude why do you want to become my friend and what happened was um, he eventually joined my court uh, because Gong Sun Zhan was destroyed by Yuan Shao and so that's how I got Zhao Yun now I'm not sure if this is a prerequisite to Zhuge Liang but this is as far as I've gotten and I think you can try your own experimentation just to find out more uh, and from the next few videos, I might try to do uh, one story on Sima Yi, on how I got Sima Yi as Liu Bei, and how I got Dian Wei, another powerful vanguard from Cao Cao, as Liu Bei. And well, uh, this is Total War 3 Kingdoms, and I will see you guys next time for the next video.